Hey guys, and welcome to a special news update from App Judgment. My name is Chris Jennings, and as you may or may not know, I'm a pretty big Android enthusiast. And today is a huge day for Android users around the world. This morning, there were a few announcements that are pretty big in the world of Android, and I'm going to talk quickly about a few of the, the main topics and the, the high points from the, the press conference that took place earlier. The two big things that were discussed today are the new Honeycomb software and the new Honeycomb operating system on the Motorola Zoom tablet. And in this new operating system, there are two things that they're focusing on. They're looking to create a better user interface, much smoother, cleaner, better usability, and they're also trying to offer more and more operations that take place in the cloud, combining all the Google services that don't need any manual syncing, all done wirelessly through the operating system. So let's take a look at some of the important points that were mentioned today. First off, when they looked at the interface for the Honeycomb tablet, the new operating system is just a much cleaner design. It's a lot easier to use. The whole home screen has been redesigned. It's a lot easier to open apps and to flick through new apps, and it's just easier to get things done. One of the major improvements that they made on top of the interface is a whole new redesigned marketplace for people to buy apps from. Previously, you'd have to log on to your phone and go through the, the marketplace app on the phone to purchase new apps. But now there's a whole new interface that's browser-based that can be accessed from any computer, and it's all done in the cloud. So you can search for new apps and look to purchase one. And when you click to purchase a new app, it'll automatically show up on your phone magically through the cloud. You won't need to do any syncing, nothing manual, all automatically updated on your phone. This is huge. Also, they've made it so now you can share these new apps that you discover seamlessly through social networks. There's a link in the marketplace to share your new app that you just downloaded through Twitter. You can share links to other Android users to share new apps that you just found, you just discovered, which makes it a lot easier to, to share apps because previously there was no way to really do this. It was just you had to look on your phone. There wasn't much of a search function. You had to just peck and hunt through these apps and download them directly to your phone. So this should open up a whole new environment for people to share apps that they love, which is great. Stay tuned to App Judgment in the future for more news updates on breaking news stories around the mobile app world. You can check out our, our website at revision3.com slash appjudgment or stay tuned to this YouTube channel for more updates.